What's going on, FA Nation? Johnny Pemba here with James Ronnie. Welcome into the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS podcast and live stream for Friday's 13 game main slate. James, MLB opening day was yesterday, so the NBA put just two games on uh, their schedule. Uh, Celtics Bucks, absolute barn burner there. Celtics go to Milwaukee, yeah. win by 40. Bar burner for you, for you and the rest of Celtics fans. Uh, and then we had Denver uh, go up against the Pelicans there in the late night. Uh, but because only two teams played last night, uh, 13 games here tonight. Boston is even on a back-to-back, and they're on, they traveled. So they went from in Milwaukee, now they're home against Utah. Though it hasn't been announced yet, I would be quite surprised to see, well, we know Al Horford probably is fu- playing. To be, see a fully healthy team. But I would be stunned after last night's performance if, like, Brown or Tatum both play, um, if Marcus Smart plays. Like, it feels like, even though none of them played, like, the fourth quarter of that game, uh, like a rest day. It feels like a rest day is coming here. I don't, like, I understand it, but, like, you also look at it from the standpoint is you gained a full game on the Bucks last night in the standings yeah. by beating them, right? So now you are only two behind. There's Boston's played 70, 77 games. They have five games left to make up two. Like Yeah, they'll gain, they'll gain a half game tonight with a win. Right, so I can see... I just if, don't know if they need a full-strength team to beat Utah. Probably not, probably not. But I'm just saying, like... I mean, we know for a fact Horford's not going to play. What's the spread on this game? I guess that's a good good indicator. The spread is 13. Okay, not a good indicator. <laughs> um, that's suggesting everyone plays, I assume, except Horford. That's probably um, right. caked in because Horford really just play doesn't play. Backs, he too. does not play back-to-back. So, yeah, I mean, to me it feels like someone plays one of Tatum or Brown. Um, but I guess we'll see. Yeah. You never know. They might. They could probably beat them without both those guys. Yep, I agree with you there. Um, so they in Denver also on a back to back. So two of the four teams from last night are on tonight's slate as well. Did you see the comments from Mike Malone yesterday? Uh, Mike Malone before the game, before Jokic was yeah, they're ruled all, out. They're all yeah. So they're all doubtful or out already, right? So yeah, but he so he pretty much went out and said like considering how many games are left, if anybody feels something off they're gonna sit yeah because he doesn't want to risk it going to the playoffs so right. i mean they don't have the one seed locked up like memphis could catch them but six games left like i would also probably be doing what denver would be doing like right. if there's any indication of injury apparently the calf is for real for Jokic, right so mm-hmm. um wouldn't surprise me to see him sit out and jamal murray pretty all but ruled out again right. Yep, agreed with you there. So that's what we got. What other game totals are we looking at here? Uh, key matches. <laughs> uh, 13 games. A lot of, a lot of um, games here. Give, give me one. Anything over 235. Anything, Brooklyn, anything Atlanta, 240. Okay. Okay. Uh, Brooklyn open as a favorite. Atlanta has shifted to a one one and a half point favorite. Um, Indiana, OKC, 237. We know SGA's ankles still bother him. He is out for this game. Oh, Wait till you see Trey Young's price. Jesus. Um. 240 total in that game, so I'm excited to see that. Um, Utah-Boston is 231.5. Lakers-Timberwolves, 232.5. Minnesota giving one to the Lakers at home. 236 in Clippers-Grizzlies. Kawhi Leonard is questionable to return from his personal matter, uh, where they're running that game right back. That was a fun game the other night. Portland, Fort, uh, I mean, dude, just poor Blazers. Like, they're not going to sniff a win the rest of the year. Uh, 231 total in that game. Are they in the win by Emma Hunt? Are they bottom three? Um, No. No, okay. They were in the playoffs until right. pretty recently. Right, okay. There's three teams without 20 wins. Spurs, Rockets, and Pistons are all okay. under 20 wins. Those are the only three teams. Okay. Um, not not to say that others can't, but those three teams sure. are uh, significantly worse. And then I uh, two forty one and a half in Spurs Warriors Warriors John 
17 and a half seven, 17 and a half point favorites uh, against the San Antonio Spurs today. Uh, the Spurs, who do we have resting today? Sohan, Collins, both out. Keldon is uh, questionable. Vassell is questionable. Langford McDermott, questionable. Oh, boy. Brandon by himself tonight? <laughs> oh, boy. It's just... What Trey Jones? What a nightmare. Um, all right. Let's get into it here. Point guard position. I'm just going to go to Trey Young. He's $8,900. Hmm. Under, under 9K Trey. I don't... Yeah. I mean... I mean yeah, that's, that's just like caked into him being bad in two of the last three. But one, he got thrown out in. Right. And one was Cleveland. Cleveland. Where Cleveland is like... Awful for everybody. 89, 89, 89. In a two in a two forty total. Eighty nine. In two forty total. Yeah. I'm just gonna hit. I'm just gonna hit draft player and we'll. Yeah. Um. It's not that like. Do you want us play ten five for Curry in a blowout game? Probably. Um, I mean, there's there's going to be a jillion options. Now. Right? We have twenty six of <laughs> well, thirty. That's, what, I, that's teams. what I'm saying. Like, there's a billion players here. I don't think Curry, where I want to spend up. Loved no. seeing Ja get the 35 minutes against the Clippers the other night, but now he is 10-1. He's not 9K. So did you see, I put it in Discord the other night, um, Taylor Jenkins doing the opposite of what everyone else said is going to ramp up his starters. Yeah, I saw going that. Into the, going into the postseason. So I guess the 35 minutes are going to be pretty consistent. You, you also factor in there was no Desmond Bain, Jaron Jackson. That's what I'm saying. So. All right, so those guys are all going to be in the lineup tonight. I mean, listen, Ja at 10K can certainly still get you 60 if he's going to play 35. Yep. I mean, sure, I guess. But, I mean, you got Harden's at 97 against Toronto. We talked about Trey Young's at $8,900. I like that. If Westbrook is in there with no Kawhi. Yep. Uh, like yep. Yeah, he's amazing the other night. Um, Giddy again with no SGA is at 87. I think he's proven to be worth that cost against the Pacers here. Yep. Uh, Van Vliet at 86, you know, like, uh, Brunson 8K. I mean, there's dude the, quickly. Yeah, I know. I is know. 84. Yeah. Yeah. And more expensive. Well, he was more expensive than the other day, but that's because we thought he was going to be questionable. Uh, but Brunson played in that game quickly. Still 32 minutes against Miami, 24 actual. Um, I would rather still play Brunson if I was picking yeah. one. Um, yes. Not, not, okay. not a matchup I think we're going to go to, but uh, if I had to pick one. Fox is at 8K against Portland. That game won't stay close for long, but, I mean, he, great price for Darren Fox here. Um, Shaden Sharp is going to be on the floor, and really, no matter what, he played 44 minutes, 45 <laughs> Yo, he minutes. He sat like, for three minutes yeah. in that game. Yeah. 27 yeah. shot attempts. Yep. Well worth the $7,900 price tag, I think. We already talked about how bad Sacramento is defensively anyways. Yep. yep. Um, and he again, he played them. Took 45, 27 shots in that game. So, 7900 good price. Dinwiddie against Atlanta, I'm in on. Uh, Porter, 77 Like, straight down the point guard list. Like you mentioned, there's 13 games on the board. Like, mid-tier is absolutely loaded i don't think you need to spend up trey young's my number one i think and we kind of go from there yeah trey young's one westbrook could be a close second if Kawhi sits um i love kpj i love houston today uh they just play a, a bunch of minutes like and it's a game that they can be competitive in yep and it's <laughs> a game they can be competitive in and we saw it in brooklyn 240 points almost scored KPJ 31 9 and 6 and he played 40 minutes. Yeah, like, can we get the guy to the free throw line? Look at this fantasy production when he's at the free throw. Line. I know, I know. Just take uh, it to the uh, KPJ. Yeah, uh love KPJ. Same thing goes for Dinwiddie. All the minutes in a competitive form competitive format. 38 minutes, 46 fantasy points. Love both those guys. Um Probably don't play anyone until Ivy? Maybe. I was thinking, yeah, I mean, you could play Jay and Ivy. Both teams stink. Uh, 31 minutes. This is like how Kate Cunningham came on strong at the end of last year. Now, Ivy is not Kate Cunningham. I'm not saying that. But last three games, playing all the minutes, taking a lot of shots. Eight, eight, nine assists for him as well. Uh, he fouled out of that game against OKC. 31 minutes, played solid 40 fantasy points. So uh, two bad teams, should be close, should be fast-paced, should be high scoring. And yeah. uh, Killian Hayes, also uh, questionable for this one. Oh, that's interesting. If Killian Hayes doesn't play, we might get 40 minutes out of... Didn't uh, play the final four minutes with a leg injury against the Thunder. Interesting. I'm trying to look up um, how 
many minutes uh, Ivy lost due to foul trouble. Okay. Because that would matter. Um, I don't think he lost that much. He just fouled out at the end of the game. He was in. All right, so he lost a lot of time in the beginning of the game. He only played the first five minutes of the game. Well, there you go. And he got in foul trouble then. So he then played the entire second quarter. Gotten picked up two quick ones in the third, and then was. All right, he he probably would have played like thirty eight minutes. Of, yeah, <laughs> probably, probably. Yeah. Uh, Jaden Ivy in this spot, especially if Hayes is out, is, is I think is pretty elite. Yep, uh, at seventy one hundred dollars there. Um, after that, there, I mean, I don't know. Going down there, the list, there's no way Nembard gets fifteen assists again, right? Or it is okay if he does. <laughs> if he does. I don't. I don't love the minutes. Does this kinda... game score 185 points? 285 it's pro- points. It's projected to be the third highest on the board. Yeah. Could. I mean, nobody I mean, expected. I mean. No, it was crazy. I honestly, no, it was crazy. honestly, if I'm like the the Bucks fans, I'm actually pissed that Giannis and Drew Holiday played that hard in that game because yeah. you just got blown out by Boston the next night. So. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, sixty two hundred. We always talk about it when if, if Heald's out again and Halliburton's out. Like Nembard has been able to perform pretty well. Heald um, practiced yesterday, right? I think I saw he's off the injury report. Heald is. Yeah, which it was just kind an of illness st- for him. So it kind of stinks because, like, why is Buddy Heald even playing at this point? Yeah. I mean, we're rolling Halliburton out. Like Miles Turner's questionable every slate. Buddy but Heald like, was supposed to be traded three years ago. So like, what is yes, that is that. Yeah. Is. Buddy Heald's on the trading block every year <laughs> every for every team. Yeah, no matter who he's playing for, he's he's getting traded. Um, so that's fine, Numbard. If you think you can get there, uh, but he'll be back. Maybe throws a slight wrench into that. Um, I don't know. Uh, we'll see if who's in or out for Boston. But obviously, like Derek White was on the floor in blowout last night. He played the fourth quarter. Um, which kind of just shows you, I guess, some of the minutes that Derek White could see, I guess. I know the last two games haven't been good for him, but I was very surprised that White was out there with, like, Cornette, Muscala. Yeah, I, it could be just because they don't have Peyton Pritchard right now because he's hurt. That's why Derek... No, he was act- no, he was active last night. Pritchard was? Yeah, he was active okay. last night. He had been hurt. I guess he came back... He didn't even oh, see no, he was ruled out. He was active for the front end of that back or yeah, okay, the other day okay yeah yeah, yeah. um yeah, he, was he was out last night though yeah, he was right. out last night right so like maybe that's why Derek white got those minutes or uh, they're or they just view in competitive games like, it's going to be brogdon smart sure like why was where was like jd davidson didn't even see the floor uh who's like he's he should have been the blow up point guard I don't know, i'm just commenting the fact that they started the fourth quarter and it was Derek White out there with the scrubs. He played uh, the first seven minutes of the fourth, and then. Yeah. Bro, I mean, but Brogdon played the first five. Yeah, no, we were Grant- we were out at the, the the bar I was at. We were yelling at the screen. We're like, "Why are these guys out there still? Like, <laughs> get them off the floor." Um, so we'll see who's in or out for Boston today. But the the guards would obviously all get bumps, um, if that ends up being the case. Uh, what's our what's our DSJ status? Because Maladon played 38 minutes against the Thunder. Uh, DSJ is listed as questionable with a okay. toe. Well, Maladon played 38 minutes against OKC, OKC at 44 fantasy points. 19, 4, 9, 4 blocks. For yeah, broke Maladon. the uh, He's at 55. Uh, our, our guy Trey Jones there, uh, he's at $5,900. Lone Ranger there for San Antonio. Uh, McConnell's at 57. Uh, Bones Highland, dude, I was like punching walls. Bones Highland played like eight minutes in like the first half yeah. of that game, and then I went to bed. And I woke up and I'm like, he had 40 fantasy points. What happened? And it's because yep. he just didn't miss a shot in the second half. Um, I don't think I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know what to do because I, I guess he's playing 20 minutes, but like he did not play really anything in the first half of that game. Yeah, I mean, if Kawhi plays, I really have no interest probably. Uh, especially with Norm back. Um, here's the problem. He's not this efficient. So if he's not being this is efficient, he is he going to play? Is he this efficient? Because he's no, been he, the four games in a row. Dude, he is. He has been a less than 40% shooter all year long. 
And the last year he wasn't efficient either. Like yeah. he's just having a stretch, which we know he can. Yeah. Um, but if you just look, I mean, the assists are good though. Seven, seven, eight, and six. Look, I, I, I'm fine with it in tournaments. I'm just saying, I don't expect him to play this much if he's not making shots. Okay, that's fair. Um, Cole Anthony only saw okay. He said 28 minutes in that game. That's not bad. Not bad. Five of eleven shooting for Cole Anthony. There are no free throw attempts. Um, 6K feels too high, though, for him. Yeah, no thanks. Uh, Monty Morris there, 54. They started Morris and Wright together the other day. Morris yeah. Morris for 43. Um, probably, can, probably can get there, I, I yeah. think. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you got Brandon and Graham, right? They're both going to play for San Antonio yep. tonight. So. Both part, they'll probably split. They split time. They're both fine. Okay. Anybody else down here for you? Yeah, I mean, depending on what Denver does, Bruce Brown probably starts. If Reggie Jackson's dusted off, he's, like, free. Um, 3,900. If Reggie Jackson were to start, I would definitely have interest there. Yeah. I, I, I laugh when I like I clicked on Reggie Jackson the other day, and I'm like, oh, he's just literally not even playing for them. Yeah, he's DMP. Yeah, dude, they <laughs> traded for they traded for Reggie Jackson. He's getting DMP. They traded for Thomas Bryant, who wanted out of the Lakers because he wasn't playing, and he's, DM, and he's getting DMP. Right. So, like, yeah. Um, yeah, either of those Nuggets guys, whoever starts, I, I would have interest in. All right, let's go to shooting guard here then. Uh, Booker's at $9,600. Jalen Brown's 92 Donovan Mitchell's 91 uh, Your top three priced shooting guards on the slate tonight. Donnie Mitchell, of course, um, did break the slate the other day, as we discussed against uh, Atlanta. Yeah, I think all three are fine for tournaments. I don't have, like dire need to play any of them. We know that if Jalen Brown is without Tatum, he's elite. He, who knows if Jalen Brown even plays, right. but he has great eligibility. Um, Donovan Mitchell, he's fine. He's from New York. That's not in New York, but I don't know if he gets up for that type of stuff. And then Booker, Booker just looks better when Kevin Durant's on the floor. Like he just has like, but four steals, like not, not sustainable. So yep. they're all fine. All tournament plays. Uh, in the mid tier, I go back to Zach Levine. I, I, 8,100 is just a good number for him. I know the last. Yeah, it's cheap. Games. Well, the last couple of games haven't been great um, in terms of fantasy production, but Charlotte is, excuse me, not a very good, not a very good basketball team here. So no, uh, I like that. Uh, Talon Horton Tucker broke the slate the other night, forty-one actual points uh, in only does, thirty minutes. Yeah, too. Does like. he score forty-one actual against Boston? Probably not. We'll have to see if Olenek's in. Olenek was out of that game as well the other day. Marketing was out, so um, we'll see. But if Boston sits their guys tonight, certainly a, a little bit of a yep. better spot for. For Talon Horton Tucker, big price bump on him as well. Uh, Mikael Bridges, he was on the cover of the of the podcast. I think it was or playbook the other day. Uh, Forty minutes against Houston, twenty seven <laughs> actual. Like still, and and the peripherals have been slowly trending in the right direction too. Yeah, because he was off to a slow start in that game, but he was being saved by the assists and the rebounds, and I was like, oh, this is different. And then, of course, without fail, we get the twenty seven actual, like just to to drive it home, you know? Yep. 100% uh, there for sure. Um, all right. Other guys in this mid tier range, anybody of, uh, of note to you? Jalen green. Okay. I'm going to play 40 minutes. Yeah. Should, should see the minutes. Uh, clays at 68. Uh, Porter. I don't want to play C. I was going to say, I Svee. don't. If, well, we have to see if Uber is in or not. Yeah. He was quite like, Uber being ruled uh, out. We saw what PJ Washington did in that game. Yeah, they're like just, and I get it. It's end of season, but like B sixty three hundred. And this is what we've been talking about: end of season NBA DFS forever. Like guys randomly who we don't want to play are going for fifty, like Shade and Sharp. And Sveem Mahalik. Well, like, well, <laughs> like, those are, well, those. That's. I don't think that's the best example because Sharp is a lottery pick and Sve sure. is like a journeyman at this point. Sure. He's also coming off five blocks and steals like mm-hmm. i don't know if that's sustainable eight assists how many were to pj washington on a flame throwing <laughs> night right like um i uh, i know i know where we are in the season i mean we're we're at quentin grime <laughs> season even when everybody's healthy the man's out here just putting up ceiling yeah, performances. apparently i wonder what the knicks are gonna do um I, I assume he's just going to play 36 minutes with, uh, now that Randall's out. Right. Um, but I was wondering 
I was thinking like they started Obi Toppin in that second half. I wonder if they start Toppin or if they start Josh Hart in like a small ball lineup. Um, well, you can't, if they, I mean, against Cleveland, you're gonna get murdered. By yeah, you're probably yeah. Well, just like yeah, just like moving forward, if that were to be the case, like that would help Grimes because that would obviously eliminate. Well, that, I mean, like, there's definitely more shots to go around now. Uh, he only yeah. took 14 in that game. He took 10 threes. Um, I mean, that's that's been driving his production. Six of yep. ten, five of ten, four of nine, five of ten from three point range. I mean, yep. the guy is just hot from from the outside there. Um, but to your point, like Josh Hart probably sees more minutes going forward here. I'm not going to play either. I'm not going to play either. No, me neither. I'm not going to go there. Um, any other guys in this uh, mid tier range or cheaper? Um, Isaiah let's Joe. Let's see. Chase, Chase Isaiah is Joe is going to play. Yeah, I mean, he shot poorly. Second leg of a back to back. That could happen. I did love that he uh, got the minutes, though. So Yeah, the minutes are great. We already know no SGA. Um, Norm Powell, 24 minutes upon returning. Wasn't great, but if there's no Kawhi, I could see that trend up a little bit uh he was Kispert, playing 30 minutes off their bench for them for a bit so i mean there's definitely a chance that he gets back into that role yeah i just think that was probably just like i know it was a shoulder injury but just yeah. him getting his legs back under him yeah. type of thing um that's K- kispert's been okay yeah kispert is fine um i don't think there's anything else unless you know, unless someone else is rolled out and we... Why do you think Aaron Wiggins played 32 minutes? Back-to-back in the Thunder Psychopaths? Yeah. He's really good. 34 minutes. I, I mean, look. Predict predict the Thunder rotation for me. And if you have a crystal ball and you tell me who's playing, then I'll, you know... If, if everybody's out for Denver, uh, KCP could be a guy. Yeah, that's true. And Christian Brown. Yep. Um, what is Christian Brown's price? Is he a shooting guard? No, I think small forward. Uh, Shooting guard, small forward, thirty four hundred. I would have inter- I would have more interest in Christian Brown. Okay. Um, but yeah, KCP. He's okay. He'll he's he is. He'll probably take more shots at least. Um, that's probably it down here for us though. For sure. Yeah. All right, small yeah. forward position. JT is at ten three, coming off an eight of ten three point shooting night. Um, but you know, I say that we have a whole bunch of guys under 10k. Kawhi questionable 99, LeBron 98, Kevin Durant is 9k against Denver here. Yeah. Um, I understand that there's some likely blowout situations, and he has some limitations, but like good price there. Anthony Edwards is yep. $8,800. DeRozan's $8,200. I mean, a lot of big names here at some pretty cheap price tags. Yeah, I don't love this. Even though they're big names, like I don't love this tier. Durant nine thousand dollars stands out. I mean, five for eighteen shooting. That's like the most un. That's like the most non-repeatable thing of all time. Kevin Durant is may never shoot five eighteen again in a game. Um, Twenty nine minutes. I said he would play thirty, so like pretty close. Probably gets ramped up thirty two, thirty three here. Only game of the season he shot under forty four percent. Dude, he's just too good. Line, like he, one, one other game, he shot under forty four. It's just like it's just like he is actually that good. Um, that you can look at a at a season long list. I know there's been injuries involved. That he only has two games shooting under forty four percent. Like that is almost unbelievable. Yeah. Um, like Kawhi is fine if he returns. I like under ten k. Kawhi team to himself. Yeah. Um, LeBron. The Lakers are going to be this just the same thing. Like, yeah, him and Davis could go off, right? Yeah, but I feel like DeAndre Russell actually being on this team is taking away from them a little bit. I do too. No, I do too. But like, that's why it's like not appealing in '98. I'd rather take shots on Durant at nine K. Um, Edwards, same thing. Like Towns being there, you know. I know he was good against Phoenix, but look at no the, rebounds. No rebounds. Yeah, I mean that's just, and that's possible mm-hmm. because who they have so i don't know like the rosen's in a good spot against charlotte uh he's but he's played poorly against them this year yeah. they've also like lost to charlotte twice yeah. so denny got at seventy one hundred dollars against orlando probably i'm, pay- I'm, paying, it. I'm paying it Dude, he's a freaking monster All right like, let's not forget guy was a lottery pick last year so um yeah two two years ago right two years, two years ago. Uh, 
two years ago? I thought last year he was a rookie. So two years ago he was a rookie? 2020. Okay. Last year was Kispert. Kispert, right, right, right. Uh, yeah, give him more points. No, no, 2021 was Kispert. Who was last year? I know this year was uh, Johnny Davis. 2021. Kispert, 2022. I guess Johnny Davis would be 2022, so Kispert was 2021. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, Danny at 71 has been really good. Jalen Williams at $7,500. Uh, continues yep. just to smash slates. Uh, he's a power player. Wait. I, I, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I clicked over. My bad. Uh, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. He's got small $4 now? Um, all right. More guys in this mid-tier then. Scotty Barnes, maybe, if this game is – I mean, should be a competitive one, we would assume, right? Uh, 56 yeah. fantasy points for Scotty Barnes the other day. Yeah, he went nuts. He went nuts. Uh, Cam J, speaking of going nuts. He went nuts. 52 fantasy points, 31 actual, 36 minutes. Like we talked about, it was impossible for everybody to get hot that day when Merkel Bridges is just making every shot possible. Cam J made every shot possible against Houston. Yep. 18. Yep. Um, great prize for him. Uh, Franz, again, really continues to play uh, very good uh, minutes for them and strong production. I don't know if he'll go 5 of 12 from 3 again because he hasn't been that guy at all this year. Yeah. But um you know washington definitely allows guys to have some pretty big games though so not not a terrible spot Where, what are your feelings on rj barrett yeah i don't know what to make of the knicks in general like okay. obviously randall being out gives bumps to everything around them but mm -hmm. just it's just the spot right it's okay. just the spot uh are you shying off matherin because healed is active um i mean i expect matherin to start Will he play the 30 and 41 minutes is the question. Probably not. Okay. So um, if we get like word that Carlisle is shutting heel down or uh, I wouldn't have a problem getting to Mathern. Okay, yeah, Mathern's been pretty elite there. Um, let's see. Dude, Dort's been playing a lot of minutes. Uh, yeah, he was good. He was good last game too. Yeah. It's just the price is a little elevated for my liking, but I mean, there's a lot of people out. Uh, MP... And by that, I mean SGA. Yeah, MPJ is the guy that's going to play tonight for Denver. If, well, if Mario and Jokic sit, so... Yep. Um, tough spot. Can't wait. Could be the guy. Can't wait to go back to that. Will it's gonna be so fun. We're gonna we're gonna be right there. He has been he has been so bad this year. I'm just uh, I'm gonna say it. he's been bad. Uh, Jordan Nuora. Uh, do we think he he sits with healed back? Um, I mean he started over healed a few games ago when healed was active. So I don't know. All right. So if healed doesn't start, does that put you more on Mather and Nuora, or does that worry you because he can sub for both of them? Yeah, I think he was in like three games ago. Matherin played, and I know it was probably related to poor shooting, but I, I think they're all tournament plays just because the uncertainty of like what how their minutes distribution is going to be. Okay. Um, you asked me the other day, Eubanks or Little. We came to the conclusion that he'll play Little, and he did Little. So, <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts there, fifty six hundred? Forty mean, minutes is great. <laughs> like, yeah, the I mean, there's. 40 minutes were great and 17 shots were great. He yeah. literally just didn't exist in the world right. other than that. Like he, he's just not someone when you just look at him like throughout, like he just doesn't really give peripheral stats. Yeah. There's just not a lot there. Yeah. It's just like made shots or he's not going to pay off the price. Yep. I agree with you. Uh, Kevin Knox also played 40 minutes, had a double, double in that game. Yeah, he sure did. Started played 40 minutes. Um, no problem getting Kevin Knox. So they signed. Who did they sign? Shaq Harrison. He's going to be available for them. Okay. Um, I don't think that would affect Little. Keon broke his hand. Winslow is out for the year. They reddish dressed. Did not play a minute last game. Um. Watford. We'll have to. I think the Knox thing will be a little contingent on Watford for okay. me. Okay. Because I assume they would start Watford. He's listed questionable. Yeah. If Watford doesn't start, they probably start Kevin Knox and Knox or Little next to one another again. Um, and I would have interest in Knox in that in that scenario. Okay. Uh, anybody else down here um, at small forward for you? I mean, you Bates, can always take Bates a, D up. Yeah, you can always play Bates D up if you want. Um, you mentioned Bruce Brown. He's forty-seven. That the, yeah. the, the real goat eligibility point guard small forward. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't think there's anything else unless you see something. I mean, all the Memphis guys are back. 
No, nah, I don't see anything. Hello? Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, let's see here. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. I don't think there's anything. This... All right, let's go on over to Power 4 then. Uh, Tatum, 10-3. Uh, paying it? No. Uh, Porzingis, 95. Yeah, Porzingis, 95, stands out. He broke the slate in that blowout against Boston, which went the opposite way of which we thought was going to happen. Um, 95 for Porzingis stands out. I would pay 89 for Siakam in tournaments only. Uh, Mobley, 86, I think is fine. Uh, he did go for 60 fantasy points, even with Donovan Mitchell back. I think the question is, uh, like, I mean, PJ Washington 85 is lunacy. But, like, if there's no Oubre, I mean, he has gone for 46 fantasy points or more in three straight games, 46, 48, 61. You could definitely pay for PJ Washington. I mean, yeah, um, Oubre's out. I mean, he's going to take all those shots, so. Where's our what's our Jared Allen status for this game? I think he's out. He's out or doubtful. Outful, yeah, I mean Mobley's probably like my one of my favorite plays in the slate. Then. Yeah, I think he's fine. I like he's, he's fine. He went for he, 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 without yeah. Jared Allen. Mobley has been a monster. Yeah, yeah. He also eighty six. He also has. I just wanted more enthusiasm out of you. That was it. You know. Um. Like I like like I like I think he's a a very good play. I it's just like. You, there's just so many players that like 8600 Mobley doesn't like stand out to me because there are so many players not because I, I don't think he's like great I, I mean I don't know I, I'm in love with Evan Mobley maybe that's it's just be. the game it's just not a sure great you. game environment okay and like two slow paced teams maybe that is better with Julius Randall not in the lineup sure but Sure. Okay, that's fair. All the, all of that is fair. That's fine. I I, I just the, the way he has been playing without Jared Allen on the floor to last like fifty nine and sixty two fantasy points, right? Yeah, so, like that's undeniably that's undeniably great. Um, wasn't Allen? Didn't Allen play in that last game? Oh, the Brooklyn game. Yeah, he did play in the Brooklyn game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he played in the Brooklyn game. He didn't play. Did he play the Houston game? He played the Houston game. He didn't play the the. The last the Atlanta, game. he didn't play the Atlanta game, right? But he did play the Brooklyn game when he went for sixty two. So the very least in game then, twenty fifteen and six there for uh, for our friend. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. I still love him. I think he's. I, I've come around. Obviously, you know how I spoke on him last year, but we always knew the talent was there, and we're just seeing some crazy ceilings out of him lately. Mm -hmm. um, so that's there. Washington's fine. Triple J if he comes back, um, certainly. Uh, spot for him we've talked to rose in jalen williams what about Boncaro price all the way down to seventy four hundred dollars here yeah he was really popular the other day at 72 um three of the last four games over 40 fantasy points i think it's definitely viable i think the magic are another team that's just like kind of playing their guys like they yeah. did only played Boncaro 29 minutes last game a little concerning um actually the last two but the games prior 34 37 36 36 34 minutes so uh, we should see mid thirties minutes again. No, oh, okay. I, 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 yeah, I'm with you there. I think it's uh, we we love the talent all year long. Prices fluctuated up and down on us a few times, but this feels pretty safe. Um, still like Denny, as we talked about Cam J. We've talked about uh, Bagley. Twenty three minutes for him. Our, our our guy the other day against uh, the Thunder. No real reason. Uh, <laughs> no foul trouble. Just twenty three minutes. They just twenty three minutes. Yep. Can't pay it. Can't pay it. So sad. Um, yep. Love Jabari on the flip side of that matchup there at 64. I think that uh, just I'm a big fan of the talent. I think coming forward, he'll be next year, he'll be just be a stud. Um, so I uh, gets the minutes. I, I like Jabari Smith here, $6,400. Uh, Aaron Gordon's another guy that if everyone's going to be out, he can certainly benefit, um, you know, and be a very productive player without Jokic on the floor. We've seen it. Rebound ceiling with him. Yeah, he had a sixty. He had a sixty bomb against uh, Pacers, right? 
It was against the Magic, too, when Jokic and Murray were out. Yeah. I think he went for 60 against them. And he got hurt in that game and came back and still had 60. So we know there's um, there's some there's a ceiling. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, other guys down here, Keegan Murray, who's your running back, John Collins, anybody there? I mean, Collins, we know what he is right now. 30 minutes around mm-hmm. uh, can get us a double-double. It's not going to be like a 20 and 10, but he's, you know, double-double threat. Murray, when he makes his shots. Gary but Hunter, I just don't. Hunter is questionable for this game, by the way. So hmm, that could be good for Bay. Collins. That could be good for Sadiq Bay too. Yeah. Um, the thing with Murray is like, don't like seeing twenty-two minutes in a blowout. Sure. I would have rather seen thirty-five. Like this game is blowing out, mm-hmm. right? Like there's just no chance Portland stays competitive with Sacramento's offense. So, um, I probably won't get to many Kings here. Okay. Uh, which Charlotte guy plays today? Which for what's uh their <laughs> Do we know? Like, uh... Um, let us take a peek. They have not officially ruled any of them out. Okay, so they're all gonna play. Great. <laughs> so Mark Williams is off the injury report. Uh, Nick Richards had a double double last game because of course he did. Ty Jones played twenty one minutes. Uh, so per. The Hornets beat writer, it looks like Kai Jones is going to be the guy to sit. Okay, well, that's actually probably the worst case scenario, right? Because uh, that probably means Williams starts and Richards comes off the bench, would right. be my assumption. Um, but uh, Kai Jones did have a double double in 22 minutes against the Thunder, so um, they all they all find plays. Uh, Fontecchio started that game, right? For he uh, just played, he played no minutes, no minutes. It was actually the guy they signed off the 10 day. Uh, yeah, Lucas Samanic, Samanic, something like that. However you want to pronounce that last name. Uh, twenty-five minutes for him. He nearly double doubled. He had twenty-nine fancy points. Um, so if everybody's out, I, I don't know if you want to dart throw that against Boston. <laughs> he is a former Maine Red Claw, so you know a little revenge game maybe. You know, yeah, the, the big club who never called him up. Um, anyway, yeah, if Ke- yeah, if Kelly o sits, maybe one of these, oh, one of these, guys. one of these guys, yeah. Um, Osman didn't play at all against Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, they played in they played an eight man rotation, and Lamar Stevens played forty minutes. Yeah, gross. Um, all right, that's it then. Let's let's go to center. Uh, Embiid's against Toronto. You in? I'll play Embiid against everybody. The Monstars. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Sabonis against Portland. We talked about the blowout there. Can't really trust that one. Probably could just play Zinger at center and call it a day. Because mm-hmm. uh, he's going to destroy that spot there. Um, Vuk against Charlotte at 81. Do you think they compete long enough to make him worthy? Dude, Charlotte's beat Chicago twice this year. And Chicago always plays down to their competition. Like I, It would not surprise me for this to be a competitive game. Okay. It would not. Okay. Literally in the slightest bit. Uh, Blocker Kessler against uh, Blake Griffin tonight, probably. Or you're, uh, you know, they probably start Rob Williams. He's not going to play thirty. So if Rob Williams even plays the back to back, if Robert Williams even plays the back to back, if not, it's it's Blake Griffin and Mike Muscala tonight against you, Blocker Kessler. You know what? Williams is going to sit because they were talking about it. He was questionable going into yesterday, and they were deciding whether they were going to sit him. So they're going to sit or... both, both both Boston centers sit out tonight. Probably. Cornette, Muscala, Blake Griffin rotation. Probably, probably, uh, yeah, probably. So, so blocker Griff, uh, blocker Kessler there at seventy six hundred dollars. Hopefully, hopefully not blocker Griffin. No, hopefully not blocker Griffin. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Did you see uh, the headbutt he took last night? I saw that uh, there was a flagrant involved. I did not see the. I did not see Dude. the headbutt. By that time, the TV was off. Dude, the, uh, was it Danassis? Is that how you say? His, his yeah, name he Danassis is a he psychopath. Is a, Absolute he is a psychopath. psycho. Now, he is a psycho. Now Blake did kind of like unnecessarily hard foul him on like a dunk. He like came over with like the over the top sort of like hard slap down, and <laughs> Danassis headbutted him straight up. Went up to yeah, him and psycho. headbutted him. So he's, he's gonna be suspended for a few games. Um, <laughs> kudos to Blake for just kind of laughing it off. But he had like an actual mark on his head from where the headbutt was. So it wasn't like they just like touched foreheads. Like that was a that was a headbutt uh, <laughs> that he gave him there. So um, yeah, psychopath in that game. Anyways, back to the center slate here. Um, where else are you looking in this mid tier? Anybody popping out to you? Yeah, Claxton for sure. Uh, Thirty five minutes last game, double double. Good to see the offense back on track. Eight of ten shooting. 
Uh, he's just a very efficient, 70% from the floor. So like, you know, the 57% that normal human beings shoot, that would be elite. Like that was kind of like an anomaly. Um, it would be impossible so, for me not to play Miles Turner if he's active at sixty eight hundred dollars. Yeah, probably, probably Miles Turner. I love Shingoon. I've been saying it this whole time. Stays out of foul trouble and there's blow, no blowout. Like he's playing thirty three minutes. Mm-hmm. He's went twenty one and twelve. Um, I could easily do that again against Detroit. It's a dream matchup for for front courts. He just needs to stay out of foul trouble. Um, so Shingun in tournaments. So I, I love. Eight is sixty six hundred without. Yoke I'm not. There, but I'm dude, not doing it. I know. I'm just not doing just it. Saying. He is, dude. He is so. And it was like this uh, when they first got Durant he too. Like he's just, he just yeah. So 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 unfortunate. Yeah. Um, Xavier Tillman was like out, and then he was in, and he played thirty one minutes in that. Nah, game. he was only questionable. They, yeah. He was only questionable in that game. Seemed like he wasn't going to play, and then he played. Um. I mean, when you're maybe, but like, wouldn't have you, I would have assumed if he was going to be out, he would have just been doubtful like everybody else. Sure. Cause they just straight up were like trade, uh, Ty Jones, Des- Desmond Bain and Jaron Jackson were just like well, doubtful. With everybody back though, do you get to him? Probably not. No. Okay. I agree with you. Uh, can't touch the Charlotte guys until we figure out who's starting. We assume Mark Williams, but I don't know if you want to go there or not. Um, Wiseman got 28 minutes. Uh, wasn't start wasn't starting then he was then he was yeah and duran only played 19 minutes in that game <laughs> there's yeah. the split again it's like but how do you figure it out on a game-to-game basis yeah. it's, it's like mm-hmm. uh, Jesus. hard to know eubanks took 12 shots just missed them all uh, did he was really rebounds, good so. he, he was good everywhere else but it's just like they're playing everybody so many minutes yeah. except drew eubanks mm-hmm. uh mamu's 5k yeah, probably the probably the center spot with no Collins. Yeah, and then whichever uh, I I assume Miles Turner's just not playing. Like that's just my assumption that okay. like, um, like he could obviously they play. Healed back, so I mean like that's true. Um, uh, but that's an illness. Like, what's your is is Buddy Hill just going to be sick for the rest of the year? T- Turner, they could just be like, oh, this back injury is. Mm-hmm. Jalen Smith fouled out in. 19 minutes but he had yeah. 33 fantasy had five points. fouls in 22 minutes so. <laughs> um and like you know it was milwaukee and that game was crazy and whatever but like jalen smith 33 fantasy points in 19 minutes stands sure. out like a sore thumb um if if Kawhi leonard is out robert covington played 32 minutes i mean dude he hit seven threes <laughs> <laughs> and broke the slate well, he didn't because nobody, like, not a, I don't know if the, there was one human being in the world that played Rob Covington on that night. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I agree with you. Um, but, 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 does, do, do they play Hartenstein here? I mean, 29 minutes against Miami. We actually just didn't talk about Obi Toppin. That's another one. Obi oh, yeah. Toppin. He started the second half, played 17 minutes. 4K, but... yeah. I just don't think he's a good player, but maybe. I think he's a good offensive player. He just, there's just not a, chance for him to i mean he's literally only played 20 minutes three times like once since january yeah there's no how can you even get like a there can't even be like a sample on this guy yeah but i feel like whenever i've seen him like on the floor he doesn't do anything that like ooh, maybe there's something there like people like him because he could dunk yeah he's but he's he's a good shooter all right okay Uh, i never was been impressed by obi top since they drafted him so um anybody else at center for you um i mean they like i don't know what denver's gonna do like i have no idea what denver's gonna do tonight they dusted off thomas bryant started him he stunk he got an immediate foul trouble he played six minutes in the first half they played 13 jeff green played 30 minutes of course so like if jeff green like if the same scenario plays out Kawhi Leonard I could present s- at shoot around. Cool. Good. Um, so I could see myself getting to some some uh, some Jeff Green. I I don't know. That's kind of gross. But he is thirty five hundred dollars, so I guess it is possible. Um, all right, let's build our lineup here. What's what center did we want to plug in this one? 
Uh, um, do we want to go Mamu for value, or did we want to spend up for somebody? Yeah, we could play Mamu. Yeah, Collins is already out, right? Mamu's Mamu's yeah. been really good, so yeah. that's fine. All right, so this is the lineup I have currently inserted, and you can let me know where what you think about it, and we can kind of build around it because I do have some open spots. Uh, I put Trey Young in at eighty nine hundred dollars. Okay. Um, Mikel Bridges at seventy eight hundred dollars, just kind of running it back in in that game. Um, I put Bruce Brown at small forward at forty seven hundred dollars. Uh, I have Isaiah Joe at the guard spot at fifty three, and I got Mamu at center at five k, and it's sixty one hundred dollars for a power forward, forward and utility. Um, Aaron Gordon fifty nine for power forward. Okay, Gordon works for me. Power forward, Aaron Gordon. Uh, sixty two hundred dollars for forward in the util. We definitely had another value guy that we liked that could help us spend up a little bit more. Um, like Norm was forty eight, but there's obviously Kawhi coming back. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. It's all a bunch of guys that could be in play with people being rolled out. Yeah, would you play Kispert at forty seven? Hard to Loaf. sign it into 46. I think today my goal is to stay away from the Kisperts of the world just okay. because the low the low floor, like 13 games late, I feel like we could find something better. Hey, Reggie Jackson? That could be interesting. I still think they would start Bruce Brown at point guard. That's just what they've done. Yeah. I just, I don't know what reggie jackson's role is going to be i That's have fine. no idea i'm just trying to figure out a way we can get like another 7k guy i mean if you're a believer in obi i'm fine putting him in i mean you think the minutes are going to be there he starts like then all that makes a lot of sense i mean I, like you said earlier i toyed out throughout the josh hart idea and that just doesn't seem yeah but you think of cleveland o o if jared obi allen doesn't play yeah. it, they're gonna start lamar stevens at sure. power forward well, because Obi at forward gives us an $8,400 util, which is like DeRozan, um, which I like a lot, obviously. All right, um, let's play. Let's play Obi Toppin then. And okay. if we will, there's potential for obviously pivots just based on yep. um, what comes out and who's in and who's out. We're a pretty fair and balanced lineup here. Would you rather play DeRozan or Jalen Williams? Um, probably Jalen Williams. Okay. That's fine. I like that. Jalen Williams. That gives us 900 bucks left over. Um, anybody that you would adjust from on this lineup here? Uh, Trey Young, Mikael Bridges, Bruce Brown, Aaron Gordon, Manu, Isaiah Joe, Obi Top, and Jalen Williams. We have $900. Um, I mean, like, I would probably play Olenek if Olenek were in the lineup, but, like, okay. I don't think we I don't think we, we need we to. We could have upgrade. a $6,200 utility if we took off Isaiah Joe, um, which would be... Nembard and under, basically. I don't know if anybody there. Dort. Yeah, I'd rather play Joe over Dort, probably. Yeah, yeah, Joe's probably a better per dollar play. No, I think that's fine, dude. I, I don't... Unless something changes, like, I, unless we wanted to do four Denver and use Michael Porter, but I... Right, all right, right. Um, all right, so that's what we'll stick with for now. Obviously, we'll get more uh, lineup and injury information out there. Uh, pretty fair and balanced built, but that's kind of what you get at the end of season because a lot of these guys, price tags, guys get ruled out. They don't really meet up to what they uh, can go up to. Um, so we got Trey Young, Mikel Bridges, Bruce Brown, Aaron Gordon, Mamu, Isaiah Joe, Obi Top, and Jalen Williams. They're $900 left over 13 games. Uh, Dylan Clemens is on your playbook for today. James and I will be back for Monday. Good luck. We'll talk to you guys later.